Let's go. Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. Man, I'm having so much fun. Come on. We're on our way back. Come on. To the ranch. Well, howdy. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? Well, it'd be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Mm -hmm. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, Mr. Uh... Marston. Ah. No, can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old Coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper tie. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what, why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance, then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> here you want map I retire here take map you earn it I'll happily take this off your hands my friend cool yeah let's get back
see what's going on. Filing. See what's going on. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarlane. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> <laughs> take the reins, Mr. Marston. Sounds good to me. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women. And neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. How well do you know New Austin? I don't. We talked about coming down here many times, but never made it. Who's we? Me and the folks I used to used to work with. Yeah, New Austin. The last real outlaw country. Where the old ways still hold true. Do a man wrong, he'll shoot you for it. Do a man right, well, he still may shoot you for it. But at least you have an idea of what's right and what's wrong there. Dear, oh dear, Mr. Marston, what dreadful moment did you get that romanticized drivel out of? Those days are long gone, if they were ever here at all. According to Paul, those days were just people shooting each other because they lost the cards. We'll be lucky if our ranch survives another five years. Businessmen are the new cowboys. it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. I don't know how to respond. It's excellent to see you today. Hey, mister. You need something for that gout? Any trouble, let me know. Any artillery need, 
can be missed. You sure can tell a good windy. Blistered by I'll fire. I'll see you later. Farewell. Howdy. Howdy. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. You ever wonder how great must have been out here before the railroad at all? Oh, please, do me a favor. Here I am. Careful, partner. Uh, I beg your pardon, sir. See what the chef has going on for us. Hello? Hello? It's Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest to goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. Are they up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. And it'd be my Hi. pleasure. I like how he's like, will you help me get what I want? If I'll help you get what you want as long as you can help me. How long you been working for the government, Marston? I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Stay with us, Marston. You never know. Baller twins might have set up an ambush. I'll be honest with you, Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. Come on, Marston. I don't want to lose those rustlers. We need to stick together, boy. Them rustlers might be waiting for us. Pound leather, Marston! We need to meet the others in pike faces! So I hear you and Miss McFarlane are like a hand in glove these days, Mr. Marston. Nipping around her ankles like a pup that wants his mama out here. And I hear you two have never been with a woman you haven't paid for. No need oh. to get your bristles up now. We're only asking, you know, man to man. 
I'd take a good look at your own miserable lives before you start interfering in other people's. She's a fine woman, that's all we're saying. I thought about dropping a rope on her myself more than once. We need to buy you a mare, Eli. The prettier the girl, the worse coffee she makes, in my experience. And what experience is that? Not far now. Eyes open, boys. Yeah. Everybody dismount and follow me. Let's move up the canyon towards the fort. My man. Gone out. Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Come on! Pull foot, Marston! Oh yeah, I realize I gotta help me. Damn! Those bastards were waiting for us! This way. Marston, you can tag along with me or join the deputies. I'm going with you. My God. This way. Come on then, Marston. Just make sure you don't slow me down. Damn you. Cover it up, Marston. Two behind that rock! I'm giving you one last chance to put your hands in the air! Rustlers, boy. I see one. Too damn close. Come on, let's clear out that camp. Watch yourself. Looks like they have some backup. Of course they are. Man. You better surrender. You hear? Surrender, or I'll kill you all. Looks like they want us. Hey. You got one. Your life worth living! I've got my tooth pants on! Damn it! Watch this. My apologies, mister. Across the way. Look out! There are them snipers! Jesus well! Tell the ballers to get themselves up or we'll kill every last one of you! Let's 
Sounds like the deputies could use a hand. As any. Gather around and listen up. All right, stealthy as you can, boys. Let's get as close to those bastards as we can. Marshal, we're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. Uh, All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. Get back. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. 